Hi, my name is George Joseph. I'm the head coach of Maine East. I started as a high school gymnast at Maine East back in, oh gosh, 2004. Uh, competed there for four years. What was something you were proud of as a high school gymnast? Um, I think the skills that I got for, for starting from absolutely nothing. I got myself to having working a solid pommel set, working a solid ring routine, um, and surprisingly a, a decent, half decent P-bar set. The favorite skill that I could hit uh, was probably a press hand on uh, rings, um, and then the favorite skill that I couldn't hit is a tongue on horse. Mainis has had like a, a pretty good resurgence in recent years. What, what would you uh, what would you attribute that that to? Um, I honestly can't take too much of the credit. I have to give it to uh, the coach before me, um, who was my senior. He's Neil Adamson. Um, he set the program up for success by doing a couple things. One was making a cultural shift. Mainies has always had the mentality of, oh, we're Mainies. Uh, we're going to get beaten easy, we're going to lose. Um, versus, oh, we're Mainies, we're here to compete. We're here to actually win. Um, that mentality has changed over the last, I'd say, six-ish years. And a lot of that was due to Adamson. And I've tried to carry on that tradition as much as I can while keeping some of the funner aspects of what the Mainies team is all about. I think so far this, this season has been my highlight season. Uh, we had a third place finish in conference, a couple of third place finishes throughout the season at various invites. I have three-ish guys looking for some state qualifying action tonight at sectionals. Yeah, I, I would say um, the demographic is, is very mixed. Um, so you have, a, a, I think, a wider range uh, cultural, socioeconomic backgrounds all in the same place and um, that can lead to some great things but it can also lead to a lot of challenges with getting people out to compete, getting people out for a sport like gymnastics when they don't have you know, exposure to it when they're young. I think they struggle with the same thing I did which is getting that year-round coaching. Um, you know like for volleyball or basketball you have you're, you're going to clubs out of season, you're working out out of season. Gymnastics should be the same way. You're, you're working on stuff out of season, and a lot of these kids either can't afford to, or they just don't have the time to. I think the unique nature of being able to develop someone from absolutely nothing to this, whatever whatever they want to do, honestly, um, is mind blowing to me, and it, it still amazes me to this day. That's why I coach. That's why I watch it. That's why my kids are involved in gymnastics. Um, I, I just think it's an amazing sport and it tests the, the limits of what the human body can truly do. I think two of the main ones are perseverance. So the mentality to not give up even when things are hard, things aren't working out, um, and you're struggling. Like it's just a rough day or a rough week. And having that perseverance. I think with all the mental health issues that we're having, kids need more of that in their life. Um, and the other thing is having a open mind, because gymnastics isn't something you get into just willy-nilly. You, you kind of have to have an open mind to learn new things, test yourself, and continue to push your limits. So gymnastics lets kids who don't have necessarily a voice in other sports. Um, one of the examples I always use is this track. There's a lower skill ceiling, right? So kids that are running, they're going to catch up to each other quicker and quicker and quicker. In gymnastics, a kid that was struggling his junior year can come back and absolutely dominate his senior year if he puts in the work. Because the limit of gymnastics isn't necessarily a physical limit, it's a mental limit. And as long as you're willing to push yourself, you can get really far in this world.